The content of this podcast is provided for general informational purposes only and is not intended as, nor should it be considered a substitute for, professional medical advice. Sweaty and pissed, sweaty and pissed, menopause makes me sweaty and pissed. Welcome back to Sweaty and Pissed, Menopause and More. And um, I am in the studio by myself, but I have the lovely Leanne Morgan, comedian, uh, on the phone with me since she is in Florida where it's warm. Hello. <laughs> and well, not not too much warmer, honey. <laughs> it is, <laughs> I'm sitting out here on a back porch in the beautiful Rosemary Beach on 30A, and I'm on a, in a beautiful house that I'm sitting on the porch freezing myself to death. <laughs> but you'll be so proud of me. I ate an omelet <gasps> for breakfast at the donut hole, and I did not get a donut. That is stunning. Well, I when I order, I think of you now. So, um, <laughs> so I'm glad doing I can a show be in your hair. <laughs> you are. You're kind of like um, when my mama used to say when I go on a date, and she would say, "Jesus is watching." Um, <laughs> but I think of you when I think of my food. Okay, so I am down here doing a show for Rosemary Beach Foundation. It's Girlfriends Weekend. Yeah. And I'm the opening, I'm the headlining this, act on Thursday night. So what's today? Wednesday. So tomorrow night, and they'll have a bunch of uh, women who are so fun drinking wine and watching me. And then there a whole weekend of festivities that go for charity. So like a chef's going to do a demonstration, and then they'll have a decorator do a demonstration or talk about decorating. And there's uh, bubbles and bunko, so that champagne and women play bunko and win prizes. And there's a lot of shopping and doing. Oh, that sounds so great. it's so fun. I know. So I'm excited. So I did this years ago. Um, I don't know about ten years ago. And then um, then they had songwriters from Nashville come and do it. So they mix it up. So this year it's me again. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. And I've got my 21 year old with me. Um, this is part of her birthday. Yeah. I brought her with me. Yes. And let's hope we all get along. But anyway, <laughs> that we're down here. <laughs> We're down here, and so far it has been lovely, but it's cold. Cold, cold, cold. Well, I'm so glad you're down there being a star. Um, well, I thought, since you're, yeah, I thought since you're uh, away that we might just um, do a, a short little episode and maybe read some Facebook comments because they've been really fun and, and interesting and, um, and just uh, share those with our, our listeners. Uh, and we're we're so appreciative, aren't we, Leanne? That they people comment on Facebook, they comment on um, Apple Podcasts, on the reviews, and it's just been really, help, yeah, really fun and helpful and encouraging. Yes, it keeps us going. And yeah. let me say that um, quickly that I've been traveling a lot, and I was in Los Angeles and uh, Orange County last week. And women came up to me after a show and said, I listen to the podcast. That's great. And that means so much to us. And then I'm going to Abilene, Texas next week. And I guarantee you there will be somebody, two or three, that will come up to me and say, oh, my gosh, I've been listening to the podcast. So that means a lot. That encourages us to, yeah. you know, to keep going. Yeah, that's really good. I was at the gym this morning and a woman came up to me and said, I've been listening to, to, to Sweaty and Pissed. I really love it. And she said, it's funny, the, the name is so great. She said, it reminds me, my son, when he was 16, said to me, I think you're in Menopist. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was really good. Uh, that is, we may have to use that yeah, one, nice Menopist. Little, nice little combo word. But yeah, I thought that was great. <laughs> um, anyway, well, um, well, let me get um, some of those... Think comments I was talking about. Uh, we just got a, a comment from Kelly, Kellyanne, uh, yesterday on Facebook, and she says, "I'm a 51 year old healthcare worker, and after a complete hysterectomy six years ago in menopause, this podcast is helping me tremendously." My amazing hairdresser shared it with me after hearing me complain about my vagina being flat, dry, and having no personality. 
<laughs> this, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, and 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 thanks thanks to all these hairdressers who who you know spread the word. Uh, she says, oh, I, know. "I know." She says, "This podcast is packed with great info and hilarious. Starting to feel like there is hope for me." Isn't that great? Oh, that is great. Thank you, Kellyanne. Yeah, Kellyanne. And um, Lisa says, love Leanne and Karen. Wonderful information and tons of fun to listen to them. They are great. (gasps) Yay. Yay. You know, my love language is words of affirmation. I know. I need to hear that. (laughs) I thought maybe you were due for this. Um, (laughs) There was another one. Let's see. Uh, there was somebody who saw you in San Antonio um, that uh, said, love, love, love this podcast. I need Karen in San Antonio, and Le- Leanne keeps us laughing about it. I'm about to, I'm about to devour your, the reading list. Could you guys do an episode on men's specific hormone issues? My man can't sleep and is falling asleep mid-chew over dinner. I swear... <gasps> I swear he I shouldn't laugh at that. Um, I swear he is in adrenal fatigue and thinks he's okay because his primary care physician gives him testosterone cream. She said, and I'm not interested in doing the Heimlich maneuver because he won't go to anyone else. (laughs) (laughs) And that's. Funny, but not funny. I know. Oh, my gosh. So we'll, well, then we'll we need to, to do we'll have one. We'll to talk about some men's issues in our future episodes. Um. This is a review from um, Apple Podcast. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it says, uh, hilarious and helpful is the heading. If we have to go through it, at least we can laugh about it. Karen is awesome. I know because she's my provider. Thank you out there <laughs> for you. <are. laughs> and, and Leanne tells it like it is. Yes, you do. It's oh. awesome. Well, I have had people say to me, oh, it is so informational. And I go, I know she knows so much, and I'm just over there talking about pinto beans <laughs> and feeling tired. But um, but I do think we have a good balance. I think so too. I mean, because you want to have fun while you're talking about this horror. Oh gosh, I know. It's 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 can be such a struggle, but it, it there's so many um, universal things that are happening to women in perimenopause and menopause that it's. It's nice to know you're not alone. It's nice to know that there are some answers and 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 help for for the symptoms we go through. And um, and I know people appreciate your comedy and lightheartedness about this whole thing, e- even as you struggle through it, which is is a pretty amazing feat that you can struggle oh, and be yeah. funny at the same time. <laughs> Well, thank you, but I I I make comedy out of pain, um, and and I have been so compliant. You're going to be so proud of me. Really? I've been doing creams and doing and my adrenal. I got my adrenal uh, supplement in, from Amazon, and I am taking it. Oh, good. And I am doing all of the things I'm supposed to be doing, and um, and is it, help, is it helping? I hope. I think so. I do. Yeah. Now, you know, Karen, I'm traveling a lot. And I know. How it's stressful hard. that is. It's really and, hard. You know, you get on a plane and you can't poop. I mean, I'm. we're going to have to talk about that sometime because I. <laughs> it is, that always bothers me. And I'm on planes now every week of the world and I'm trying yeah. not to get the flu. And so I, but I, that's why I know I've got to be compliant and do what I'm supposed to do and keep myself going because I'm in this stressful time, a wonderful time of being busy and you know, you know show business. Yeah. You're either booked or you can't get arrested. So right now I'm booked. <laughs> and so I'm going and doing and I'm trying to keep myself healthy. And the last, um, I don't know which podcast that was, but that uh, it might have been our last episode. But we talked about me being in yeast dolls and on a Whole30. And I finished my Whole30. Yeah. And um, I got over the yeast doll. <laughs> And it really, it, that really taught me, I mean, how many, you know, I was eating too many carbs and sugar. Yeah. And so I'm going to really try to, to do like a 85, 90% rule where I don't eat, you know, bad, bad stuff. I eat clean most of the time and maybe on the weekends have a, have a piece of sourdough or something. But anyway, yeah. I'm, I think that that really taught me, but, um, but I wanted to let people know I'm doing better. I'm, I got over the yeast off. 
Because I thought I was going to die. Yeah, that yeast diet and, is um, rough. But it does it does tell you how important what you eat is to how you feel, you know? Yes. Yeah. And that's why I did not get a donut this morning. Because <laughs> a donut would make me feel like I had been roofied, you know? <laughs> And you, I don't need that. Yeah, it would it make you happy for a few minutes, but it would make your yeast happy for a long time if it uh, if you had that donut. Yeah, and I don't want to grow a bunch of yeast. <laughs> um, okay, is there anybody else? Is there anything oh, else? We uh, let me see here. My phone keep. I'm having to do too many things on my phone at once, and this is not good for somebody my age. But. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What are you gonna, I know it took forever for me to figure out how to talk to you. <laughs> uh, I'll just read a bit of this. this. This is a long one from Becky who says, you two are the best. It's nice to hear, to understand why we think we're crazy. The poor men in our lives, they don't get it and we can't explain it. It's so great to hear a medical perspective. I wish more doctors understood and were more open to these conversations about perimenopause and what we can do to make the transition smoother and healthier and easier on our husbands. So that's so oh, nice Oh, but comments. isn't that the truth? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I know. I know. I try to tell Chuck he doesn't get it. Okay, <laughs> and I, let me tell you that I just bought a new pair of Soma uh, Cool Nights pajamas <gasps> with oh. no sleeves, and they are wonderful. Oh, and really? And I thought, I'm going to have to go, yes, and I'm going to have to go and buy just the same pajamas, but buy five pair of them. They're a and they're a wide length, like a culotte. Yeah, but you know, kind of ankle length. Right. With a tank with a shelf bra in it, but it's but it's real comfortable. It's not a, it uh, doesn't have a wire in it. Yeah. But it keeps me cooler at night. Oh, good. And I know, and I've been doing the my estrogen cream that you prescribed me. Yeah. And it and I'm learning between two and four clicks. I think it should be around two clicks. And that really helps me get through the night oh, and good. not have a big sweat, you know, butt beat out sweat and then I get up and can't go back to sleep and then I'm cold and Oh good. So that's really helped me, my angel. So thank you. Well, but then my new pajamas, I feel like a different person. Well that's fantastic. I know. It takes a bunch of tools, doesn't it? I mean it's it's usually not one thing that helps helps this the symptoms so that's how smart of you to get those jammies oh they're wonderful everybody needs to go out and get the soma Soma. cool nights panties and i hate for forest to to hear that (laughs) panties and pajamas it's called cool nights and that's that's what it's for to like pull moisture away from you and where you don't break out in a perfect horrible menopausal sweat soma s-o-a-s-o-m-a cool nights pajamas right yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, that's a great tip. I think we'll. I think we'll wrap this up on that fantastic tip you just gave everybody. <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah, we could have Soma as a sponsor. Anybody out there who, is, who, who uh, works for Soma, just get in touch with us. <laughs> oh, I know. I talk about Soma on stage, honey. I love my Soma panties and my Soma cool nights pajamas, and these are really attractive. They're not me all looking. You know what I mean? <laughs> you wouldn't be embarrassed to hang them on your clothesline. No, oh, and, I, and I and I've got some people with me down here, and I and they saw me in them, and oh. I was not ashamed. I was very tickled <laughs> and thought, I bet they're jealous of my Soma pajamas. <laughs> Because they're all sweaty, too. Okay, well, all right. Well, you doll, thank you for calling and well, including me. And, uh, great and we'll be back for next your week. Weekend. Great success for your weekend and have a safe, safe thank trip you. back. And uh, thank you all for thank you all for tuning in and just hearing some of your, uh, your other listeners' comments. And keep them coming. We love to hear them. And, and we look forward to talking to you next time. Yes, and please share with your friends. Yes. Please share, you know, with all your... Your friends. And yes, we will talk about me and that'll be wonderful. Okay, yeah. well, um, I have I've had a ball. Good talking to it's y'all. It's good to talk to you. See you soon. Okay, doll. Okay. All right, all right, bye bye.